Last May, tens of thousands of people took to the streets of Berlin to support Germany's unprecedented and, to some here, controversial move to renewable energy. Arguably one of the most ambitious national energy projects in the world, the German energy transition, or Energiewende, is in its second decade, and by most estimates has made impressive progress. In 2014, Germany will likely get 30% of its energy needs from renewable sources like wind and solar. But the costs to get here have been high, and coal production has soared as the country seeks to phase out its nuclear plants by 2022. And so the project has recently run into trouble, casting its future into doubt. Earlier this year, the German government began to put the brakes on some of the energy transition's key provisions. Damit müssen wir jetzt auch mehr Berechenbarkeit in den Ausbau bringen und deshalb haben wir Pfade, also Obergrenzen festgelegt, wie wir unser Langfristziel, nämlich 2050, 80 Prozent unseres Stroms aus erneuerbaren Energien zu erzeugen, erreichen können. That has angered many here who want to see it proceed unhindered. Sicher, wir wollen ja auch gerne Vorbild sein für die Welt. Die Erderwärmung entgegentreten will, dann muss man die Energiewende hin zu erneuerbaren Energie einfach gehen und das in ganz kurzer Zeit und auch zu 100 Prozent. A recent poll showed that nearly 70 percent of Germans support the goals of the energy transition. This, despite the cost to consumers, for whom the renewables charge now makes up nearly 20 percent of typical household power bills. I think it's really a bottom-up movement. Without uh, the people who are busy in it, you cannot understand this energy wende. Continued grassroots support from the German public is critical to the energy transition's success. That support can be found throughout the country in places like the Aller Leinetal, an energy cooperative near Hanover, where people like Stefan Driesmann have come together to commit themselves to a future without fossil fuels. We have more than 75,000 people live here. We started 18 years ago, and our aim is to have minimum 100% alternative energies in the Aller Leinetal. We reached this uh, goal uh, two years ago. To reach this goal, the cooperative relies on a broad mix of alternative energies. Here you see a little bit, or you can have a little bit of a feeling about the success of the Aller Leinetal. You see the solar panels on the top. You see behind some of these many windcraft power plants here in the Aller Leinetal. And now we go a little bit around. You see the biogas. And if you go below, you can uh, use uh, energy from uh, geothermic, for example. We use corn silage to make biogas and we put this gas in the engine and we use the heat to dry wood chips and also we uh, heat the school inside the town with a pipe with uh, hot water. Generous and costly government incentives have helped farmers like Jokon Usman who turns a profit making biogas. Northern Germany and in, in the main biogas companies in here, they make it, their main business is biogas. And they make it very good. And when you make it very good, the profit is very good. We are here in the potato storage. We storage here 3,000 uh, tons of potatoes. Uh, the potatoes are only for, uh, for food. Potato farmer Till Eric Meyer uses biogas he produces to power a vast refrigerated warehouse. The advantage of uh, cooling with biogas is we can storage to, um, <clears throat> to May, June and uh, have the, the whole year have potatoes. The cooperative also owns and operates several wind turbines. It's a citizen plant. That means we all make it together and it means for this special one we had 75 people who are owner of this plant. Everyone from, the, from this 75 people give money. We have 25% of the capital we need and the rest is from the bank. And this man with this long hair. <laughs> the move towards renewables in Germany has a long history, beginning with the anti-nuclear movement that was born in the wake of Three Mile Island. In 1979, there was a big demonstration in, in Hannover there 
the people walk from all around to Hannover. I'm also on a trek. In the end, we were more than 100,000 people. It was a really a great atmosphere. In the 70s and the 80s, we have many atomic plants in Germany and the people don't trust this technology. I think without this environmental movement, we have no energy transition in Germany. Despite the current retrenchment, the energy transition in Germany is moving forward. But its pace has slowed, and its future is uncertain. But if anything, the people here in the Aller Leinetal hope that the progress made so far shows that big changes here and elsewhere are possible. I'm convinced it's really possible. We have the ideas for it, and we have also the technology.